Good afternoon. This is TR for Stagecoach Road Sewing Machine. Have a really interesting, unique, and fun machine to show you today. This is a Belvedere. Look at the small size. What could be in there? Well, look at that. Look at that awesome mid-century two-tone black and white. Beautiful caramel color machine here. The original sticker on it before zip codes and phone numbers were only five digits. So let's put this in the late 50s, mid to late 50s. It's a class 15 machine. It's really small though. It has a fold up bed like Singer's famous featherweight. Pretty darn light too. Not quite as light as a featherweight, but a perfectly small portable machine to take in your RV or to quilting classes. It has a drop feed right here. You're into free motion quilting, that kind of thing. And so let's thread it up and do a little sewing demonstration. Light switch is right underneath here. Not having a bright sunny day here, but trust me, there's a nice light in there. Spool pin pops up. That's so it doesn't get bonked by the case when you put it in. And Pretty standard threading here. First, we're going to have to wind a bobbin. Say you're sewing along and you're working on a dress and you know you're going to need an extra bobbin of thread. Why not go ahead and wind it while you're sewing? So you put your second spool of thread over here. There's a little nib here and a little mark there and line those up. Click your bobbin on. Push this in. Clutch your hand wheel, and let's see if I'm winding the bottom. Perfect back and forth. When it gets to a full position, that would take off and stop your winding. So you'll be sewing over here. You don't have to worry that your bobbin's overwinding. But we're just going to wind a little on for this demonstration. Take the bobbin off there. Now let's put the top thread on. Go through this little eyeball. And around the tension, there's two convex plates there. You want to get the thread in between that. Pull up the spring and it'll fall into the notch. Get your hand wheel to the highest position. Through the take up lever, and you've got a little hidden thread guide there, and one over here. And now it's time to thread the needle. Okay, needle has a flat side, flat side faces in here. Now I get to show you a really neat feature of this Belvedere it has an automatic needle threader. You know, this folds around like that. Kind of a cheesy little mid-century device here, but nevertheless, it's patented, it's working, it is a needle threader. This little, push this little slider here and a little fang comes out the end and you can guide that through the eye of the needle. Hook your thread on it. I mean, if you really have trouble threading needles, this could, could be just the thing for you, but... I better do it the old fashioned way. <laughs> Just like that, got the needle threaded. Really is the hardest part of sewing. <laughs> okay, thread the bobbin case. Put the bobbin case in your left hand. Put the bobbin in with the thread coming off away from you like that. In there. Click in. Now we're going to see the little finger. It's going to up like a hitchhiking thumb. And it's got a little notch to fit into down there. Leave that thread down in there. Close that. Turn the hand wheel towards you. Pull up your lower thread. There we go. Both threads under the foot to the back. Let's get a piece of fabric and see it sew. Some common shirting type stuff here. Put that down. Lower your presser foot. Here's your foot pressure. You can go from zero to really light fabric where it's moving under the foot to all the way 
smashing it down for heavy things. So we're going to put it right about in the middle. Stitch length is over here. You've got reverse, forward. If you want to lock it at a certain number of stitches per inch, you can do that with this knob right here. We're going to lock it at, it's actually not stitches per inch, since this is a Japanese machine, these are centimeters. I'm not sure how that works. Anyway, here we go off on a medium stitch in reverse. Now let's go forward. Really nice range of speeds on the machine here. Go nice and slow. Look at that. Really precise. Let's just pivot around and Look at that stitch. What a beautiful balanced stitch this machine makes. This would be a great machine for taking the quilt classes. Let's go fast. Oh, look at that stitch. Look at that. Perfectly balanced front and back. And I've just got a regular size 14 needle in there. Nothing huge. Let's try some denim. A pair of husband's jeans here. Just run across that leg. And we want a, a bigger stitch for heavier fabric. Let's go on number four there. Always hold your threads when you get started. Look at that. Chewing right through. Remember what I was telling you about free motion embroidery. No pressure. Drop the feet. Now, free motion quilting or darning. Very easy to do. Is that a picture of, looks like it, Homer Simpson there. <laughs> easy. Back to regular pressure. And raise the feed. Very convenient and easy to do on the Belvedere. So, again, really, really balanced stitch forward and back, and I didn't adjust the tension or anything. This is your tension right here. We've got it on three, which is like an average spot. Let's run over these jeans again, doubled over. That big fat seam right there. Look at that. ever that you're going to find a small machine with that much power. The legendary Singer Featherweight, in my opinion, is not quite as strong as this machine on heavy fabric. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Belvedere. It's portable, it's easy to use, it's got great mid-century styling, it's quiet, all the wiring is safe, everything about this machine has been restored as good as we can here at Stagecoach Road Sewing Machines, and you can take this one with you on your next road trip. Wouldn't that be fun? Stopping at quilt stores, whipping out your machine. Give us a call and see how it can be yours.